we're here today in Bill Gray's um, wood shop and uh, Jane had asked me to do a presentation on the art of wood turning and the objects that uh, are produ can be produced from that, uh, that uh, process. Yesterday we looked at some art pieces in our home and uh, I hope you've uh, seen that video. And today we're going to discuss the uh, aspect of um, creating useful items that uh, are used in the home. <clears throat> and to illustrate that, I'm going to show you a set of uh, salt and pepper shakers that uh, is a frequent project that I do and uh, create uh, creates a very nice uh, kitchen accessory. This, the second thing is a, an urn that I have turned for a um, pet in our family that uh, is um, nearing the end of her life and we've uh, made this urn in preparation for her passing and then cremated and used that for her ashes. So that's a piece of spalted maple that uh, I've used to uh, create that piece and does some rather dramatic um, looks about it. <clears throat> the third thing is a wine stopper. If you'll recall, I made uh, a set of one of these for each of the uh, <clears throat> members last year and uh, it uh, is again hopefully been, it has been these have been used in your homes over this last year but that is again a utilitarian kind of item that um, uh, I think uh, creates a nice little project. The next thing, the next thing is um, these pins that I do. I've uh, I've turned a lot of these. You select the best uh, looking wood that you can find, and you buy these kits that um, turn the wood down to the appropriate sizes, and then uh, insert those kits into that, and uh, creates a very nice um, writing pen. The other thing I'm going to show you is um, uh, often turned on the on the lathe. In my case, a handle for a uh, a gouge that um, you can buy unhandled, and then put make your own handle, and uh, it's cheaper that way as well as uh, gives the satisfaction of uh, doing uh, a piece of the uh, the work without buying the whole thing. So. As you are aware, we're going to uh, demonstrate today <coughs> creating this little birdhouse ornament that um, each of you have in your uh, kit that um, has been uh, a part of the uh, material that was handed out to the, uh, to the club. So to start this, we're going to um, uh, turn the top or the roof, in effect, out of red cedar. I wish you were here to uh, smell that because it's quite uh, quite nice. And uh, that that roof uh, creates a nice contrast with the red cedar that you can uh, see in those other See in the in the, in the bird has in the ornaments that I've done. So we're going to uh, I've done some preparatory work on these uh, pieces. Also uh, done some preliminary work on the body of the birdhouse ornament, and um, the next step is to glue that in place. And uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, wait on this one to dry. I've got a couple of other, uh, another one here that's uh, ready to take the next step with. But I will put the glue on this and. Um, Show you how I go about that, and uh, set it aside 
and go to the next uh, piece so we can keep it moving along. So we'll take this out of the lathe and set it aside. Clean up our glue mess. We'll uh, complete this at a later date. And bring in one that I, as I said earlier, have done some preliminary work on and got it up to a point. This has been in the glue process and uh, should be should be dry enough to uh, work and finish up. And we can show you the remaining steps of the process. Need the glasses of course because these chips do fly. I'm going to finish the turning with body. Standing on this body, not as cool as I'd like, if I was headed in this state, I can see some things standing on it. Next step is to, uh, the next step is to create a hole for the bird to get in. We do this with a drill and a bit that's in it that uh, is a 3 8 bit that uh, is about the right size for this kind of planet. So we Then we need uh, need a rest for the uh, bird to uh, come in and sit on while he's waiting to get in his turn in the nest. So we'll drill a little hole there to accommodate Then we're going to uh, park this off. Now we have some really high-tech 
pieces coming into play here and that is a round wood toothpick from our kitchen that uh, insert that in there that should fit pretty well and um, we're going to um, put a little bit of CA glue on that so that it will um, not come out hopefully And we use our snippers to cut this and the little bird that we use to decorate this is a cardinal as you can see and I've made a little slit in his belly so that he can sit on this post since he doesn't have feet but sit on that um, toothpick post so I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, CA glue again here and set this fellow on top there And in a few minutes that will be dry and we have a little key that goes in top that will bore a small hole up there once this is all dry and then we uh, just use a spray finish on it to uh, take several coats but a spray finish that will uh, make it look like a finished product so that's the process that we go through to uh, create a birdhouse ornament i hope you have uh, enjoyed this these that we have made have a lifetime warranty the only problem is it's my lifetime and i'm quite old <laughs> But at any rate, I hope you've enjoyed it and hope you enjoy the um, little birdhouse ornament. Thank you. Thank you.